家好 ，Welcome to Mandarin One Lesson. My name is Tan Po Yi, and I'm teaching Mandarin as a third language subject in University Technical Malaysia Melaka. Today's topic is greeting or 问候 We are going to learn some basic greeting in Mandarin. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to practice how to greet properly, respond to the greeting correctly, and identify how to address family members. First, let's learn how to say hello in Mandarin. When you meet people for the first time, or for people you already know, at any time of the day or any place, you can say. 你好 It is a common form of greeting in Mandarin. 你 means you, and 好 means good. 你好 literally means you good. It is the Mandarin equivalent to say hello. Please take note that when we have two third tones, the first third tone is pronounced as the second tone. In 你好 Ni is pronounced as the second tone. The response to this greeting form is also ni hao. Let's see a conversation between Wang Minghua and Chen Meili. They greet each other by using the most common form. Wang Minghua says, "Chen 小姐，您好 and Chen Meili says, "Wang 先生。您好 When addressing an older or greeting someone formally, we use 您 in place of 你 In Mandarin, a family name or surname such as Chen and Wang receives a title or form of address. So Wang Minghua called Chen Meili as Chen 小姐 and Chen Meili called Wang Minghua as Wang 先生 As you have already known, 你们 is a plural form of 你 Therefore, 您 and 你 can be replaced with 你们 when we greet a group of people. We can also greet a large group of people with 大家好 which also means hello everyone. By now, you know how to say hello in Mandarin. Let's move on and look at some other greeting, such as "How are you?" "Ni hao ma." This sentence is translated as "How are you?" which literally means "You good." It is also a common greeting in Mandarin. "Ma" is a question particle. Adding the question particle "ma" to the end of the sentence makes a statement into a question. A common response to 你好吗 is 我很好 which means I'm fine. In Mandarin, to be word such as am, is, are, etc. are not used with adjective. Though translated as valley, 很 has a weaker meaning than it does in English. It is often added before a single syllable adjective. Just to enhance the flow of the sentence, so the word 很好 means very good in English, but it means I'm fine in the context of the dialogue. Remember, it is wrong to respond as 我好 without 很 Please note that the 很 here is pronounced as a second tone 很我很好 Ni can replace with other pronouns like "Ning hao ma." It is a formal and respectful form of "How are you?" Ni men hao ma. How are you, everyone? Ta hao ma or ta hao ma. How is he or how is she? Ta men hao ma or ta men hao ma, which means. How are they? Let's create a conversation. Suppose that Sophia and Wang Chiang are friends. They haven't seen each other in some time. 
and now they meet each other. What would they say to each other? Sophia said, Wang Chiang, how to put it? Ni hao ma? How to put it literally means long time no see. It is the expression that is used between old friends. Usually, these phrases are followed with a question like, How are you? While responding to how are you, you would often say, I'm good, thank you, what about you? As what Wang Chang said in the conversation, 我很好,谢谢,你呢? 呢 is also a question particle. Ending with 呢 makes a question when the context is already known. When you wish to repeat a question that was just asked, then 你呢 can be used. Sophia replied, 我也很好, which means I'm fine too. 也 means also or too. It is generally referred to the subject to express similarity with the subject of the preceding sentence. Please note that we have to change the tone of 我 and 很 to the second tone because they are followed by a third tone syllable. Wang Chang continues the conversation by asking how are Sophia's parents doing? So he says, 你的爸爸妈妈好吗? 爸爸 means father and 妈妈 means mother. Sophia, Sophia responds, 他们都很好,谢谢, which means they are fine, thank you. 都 means all or both. It is often used to sum up preceding element. Let's go over the vocabulary that we have learned in the conversation. Ni hao means hello. Ma and ne both are questions particle. Hao jiu bu jian means haven't seen you for a long time. Xie xie means thank you. Papa means father and mama means mother. To is all. We will learn how to address basic family member before we end today's lesson. Here is the list of family members in Mandarin and please read after me. Ye ye. Ye ye means grandfather. Nai nai. Nai nai means grandmother. Wai gong. Wai gong is also grandfather but is on your mother's side. Wai po. Wai po is also grandmother but is on your mother's side. Fu qing or ba ba both means father. Mu qing or mama both means mother. Ge ge is Elder brother. Jie Jie is elder sister. Titi is younger brother. And Mei Mei is younger sister. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Xie Xie.